Maketa Sakata Baba Baba. Give me an A. Speak, my Lord. Speak, my Lord. Speak, and I will quickly answer thee. Speak, my Lord. gives a word like this God gives a word to fix disorder you never just be happy about a word but you want to know why did God send that word God send this word because of an existing disorder as soon as the preacher sit down as soon as the preacher started I took this sheet of paper out of my Bible. I was to preach and I asked him to preach. Out of my Bible and read this verse. Hear it, Titus 1 verse 5. He said, for this cause left I in Crete that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting you there? There is a wanting of order because of disorder. Hallelujah. We just had a great convention here and you may have noticed that there are things being set in order. The way the world is right now, as the preacher said, is necessary to be in order. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one of the one of the one of the important things to know to be in order is to hear the Lord. Somebody says speak Lord. Somebody says speak Lord. God is doing some things now that's making disorderly folks uncomfortable. Are you there? But there has to be divine order hallelujah hallelujah many try to cancel the woman from preaching but if you look in Joel 2 29 he said the last set of preachers will be the handmaids you, you gotta get the order you gotta get the order you gotta get the order the last shall be first. Any person who fight against women preachers now will not do well. Remember that is a prophecy. Will not do well. God is a God of order. You are the patriarchs of all. Then you had the kings. Then you had the prophets. Are you there somebody? Then you have the apostles. Then you have the harvesters. We are the harvesters. We are the ones who will bring in the revival. God says in Isaiah 32, He said, Rise up, ye women that are at ease in Zion. Unless the women arise, there will be no revival. <laughs> my God, I got into trouble. My, my God. In a vision, the Lord reveals in a certain country, that women began to arise preaching and rebuking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These women, they are preaching so hard, men never preach like that. They cause the men to be jealous. The male preachers get ready, women. Every woman who wanna be let like, stand up on their feet. The Lord showed them they are so dreadful in their preaching 
my God, that if you won't get saved, they just grab you and shake you. Because of that gap for so many years where women have been hindered. Lift your hand, woman. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing. This prophetic anointing upon you. In the name of Jesus. Mark chapter 7 verse 13 said tradition will make the word of God of none effect. Tradition is disorderly. So receive it right now. The anointing to preach. The anointing to preach, receive it. The anointing to preach, receive it right now. It's going to be different. It's going to be different. It's going to be different. My God, a woman preaching revival is being released. Those of you watching, my God, receive it now. In the name of Jesus, sit down. Sit down. The Lord is revealing major riots major riots and deaths arise there is great fear this will be in the in the west america and the caribbean there is great fear as may, very many people run to save their lives is coming is coming deadly riots fearful activity mm, it's coming the bible call it Rumors of war, not just a regular war, a country against a country. Rumors of wars is coming. But I cover God's people under the blood in the name of Jesus. Come on, receive it right now. Receive it right now. In Proverbs 12, he said, There shall no evil happen to the just. Receive God's covering right now. We cover God people under the blood of Jesus. From the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is revealing a key leader in the move become an opposer. Yeah, I gotta give it like it is. I gotta give it like it is. One of the reasons why I'm here is not to preach, but I don't preach much. One of the reasons why I'm here that I, 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 is that I've been led by the Lord with the acquiescence of the, pres, of the presiding bishop to set things in order. And you, if you're looking carefully, you will see things being put in place. Don't even fight it, you'll get in trouble. The theme of the convention was a new chapter you could say a new chapter order get used to it some folks can handle it they are tied into tradition they are tied into what they were looking for they are tied into the limitations of their, their, their limited understanding of ministry and of revival and they get disappointed when it's not done their way but i rebuke opposition in the name of jesus I rebuke rebellion in the name of Jesus. I break it down. It shall not have any impact. The Lord is revealing it. Huh. Yes. Key leader. Become an opposer. And one of the reasons they can handle the impact of the word. They can't handle the truth of the word. They can't handle the order of the word. The Bible said, God chasing who he was. Come on, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Glory to God. But I rebuke that stronghold in the name of you. It shall not take precedence. It shall fail like all the mandates fail. Oh, you're not excited. You're not excited. And I cover you under the blood and I rebuke opposition. I rebuke rebellion. My God, in the name of Jesus. And when you're corrected, humble yourself and take your correction. My God, my God, humble yourself because we all do wrong. Humble yourself, take your correction. And if you're sitting in the back, go to the front. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, brote shabahanda. Woo, the Lord is revealing what I call, as I see, a speech patrol. 
coming upon the community the best way to explain it those of you who live in the south or some parts of the north they have a thing in the community they call the hoa anybody heard of them they are called homeowners association they are your neighbors they are your neighbors guess what they are your neighbors but they can take away house they have been given authority if they are not pleased with the way you keep your place so called to go after you and do your harm but these are not necessarily government officials they are your neighbors the lord is revealing that your neighbor your neighbors will become speed patrollers my god i've got to give it like it is i got to give it like it is but i will build that strong wall in the name of jesus the churches will be targeted by the speech patrol my god they are not policemen they're not speech police like you know in some muslim countries they are speech patrol i rebuke them in the name of jesus the, oh my god i love this one the lord is revealing what i call poetic preaching Woo! poetic preaching somebody tried out some of you are gifted poets my god god has gift, gifted you with, with putting his words together not just preaching like i'm preaching loose but poetically ministering the power Ooh, baka shaka, papa. i release it in jesus name any poet in here just lift your hand you don't have to stand lift your hand and, and receive it right now if you want to stand stand <laughs> and receive it right now poetic preaching you don't have to be a poet you can still stand receive it right now poetic preaching mighty poetic preaching is being released in the atmosphere god bless you you may be seated i'll soon let you go the lord is revealing a brother and he is gifted he he knows his way around he knows how to do things and the lord is showing that you are becoming reliant on your ability and because it's not going to work you are going to be very disappointed the lord is saying let go and let god let god take you over every gift you have came from god i break that stronghold in the name of jesus is a spirit of pride is a spirit of high-mindedness if you find that you are gifted you may remember you, you got to be humble because the bible says he that humbled himself shall be no shall be exalted and he that exalted him shall be amen so i break that stronghold in the name of jesus and i pray for strength what the lord of you like anything said but it will not be good for you you have got to rely on the lord no matter how you're gifted no matter how much money you have no matter how much houses you have no matter how it is wealth will you you got to rely on the lord trust in the lord with all thy heart help me somebody and lean not on thine own understanding help me come on in all thy ways help me come on acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path he shall order your life in the name of jesus my god the lord is revealing outdoor services again outdoor services that are good outdoor outdoor services is good like for open air and so but the lord is revealing attack coming upon the churches the churches they don't want the gathering they don't want the gathering the bible said that egypt when god told moses to tell them to gather in their houses because the dead angel was coming and as they gathered god saved them right here in this church right here in the harvest army worldwide on november 29 2019 god told us to gather gather the people and we obeyed and and, and not one died across the world not one died not oh my gosh there's an attack coming upon the church they are they, they can't handle the saints in the church they can't handle the gathering let me tell you the politicians can't understand or people are drawn to church my god my god and they want to stop it because it's powerful stand up everybody i will build the devil in the name of jesus my god for the church itself is the gathering hebrews 10 25 is the gathering is the church it's not really the walls is the church and they can't handle it but i break that stronghold that which they did during the pandemic i break it in the name of jesus I 
break that stronghold they will not lock churches anymore they will not turn the churches into clinics anymore we break that stronghold in the name of Jesus somebody praise the Lord somebody praise the Lord somebody praise his name you may be seated between now and the next couple of days there will be changes there will be improvements there'll be change. as we go towards the end of the year 2024 will be the year of dominion and that's why we are getting in order so when dominion come we don't struggle we can handle the miracles we can handle the promises we can handle the blessings we can handle the attacks because we are in order are you there so prepare yourself some things will happen you don't fully understand just humble yourself and inquire but god is moving because it's revival time 